Teenagers are in jail right now, charged with murdering two other teens. It's a big break in a case we've been following since it happened a week and a half ago. Atlanta police say the shooting near Atlantic Station was gang related. Fox 5's Angelique Proctor joins us from the 17th Street Bridge where that shooting happened. Angelique, you spoke with one of the victim's mothers. That's right. I talked to the mother of 15-year-old Cameron Jackson. She calls these arrests sad because she said they only reiterate the finality of it all, that her son is never coming back. Again, it's, it's a tragic situation. Atlanta police arrested two teens on election day and charged them with murder in the shooting that occurred on 17th Street, just feet away from the popular Atlantic Station. It's where 12-year-old Zion Charles and 15-year-old Cameron Jackson were murdered. Police say both suspects have opened up. Again, they... Uh we're able to say that they were significantly involved. Uh, and again, I can't go into a lot of details and what was shared with us. Police would not release the juvenile's names or talk about a motive, but they have called the shooting that left two youth dead and four others injured a gang-related shooting. Both suspects are APS students and have been charged with being involved in gang crimes. Cameron Jackson's mother says the arrests are bittersweet. It's heartbreaking, you know? both sides because now we've lost four, four young boys, you know, so it's heartbreaking. Police say they are looking into whether an adult aided the 16-year-old in skipping town and ending up in New York. They also make it clear more arrests are expected. We're going to hold uh, everyone responsible uh, for these deaths. Uh, so if it's an adult. And so, yeah, it's heartbreaking because we're losing our community. We're losing our young men. And Atlanta police told us today that all of the people involved in this heinous crime are, in fact, juveniles. Reporting live from Midtown, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. All right, Angelique, thanks for the latest from there.